Then, oh, so I have today off. Did I already tell you that? So I have a day off today, which is awesome. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I put a bunch of days together for um, my schedule. So I would fly a lot. And so right now I'm headed to my facial. I am feeling like a wet noodle. everybody welcome to today's vlog i'm chill this is it's the donnelly's <clears throat> today is i don't even know what today is i'm a flight attendant so i generally don't know what day it is or where i am i do know that i'm home right now in maryland <laughs> i do remember that today is wednesday it's wednesday january 24th i am going to give you guys a tour of my room because this is what it looks like right now. Let me just give you a little bit of background. I have been flying. Um, I put a bunch of days together for um, my schedule. So I would fly a lot and then I have some time off. Um, and I had time off before. It's like I had time off around Christmas time. And then I've been flying a lot in January, trying to build up a lot of hours and get used to the planes and pay off some bills and that kind of stuff. So um, I've been doing a lot of flying. I'm trying to get back to Florida as much as I can though to see Ryan because he's a senior in high school to get back to see him and Michael, my husband, as much as I can. And then hopefully in March, I know I'm just rambling right now, but hopefully in March, no, never mind, in February, like the third weekend in February, we're going to go up to Florida State to see Brennan and Katie, which is cool. Mike's going to be in a golf tournament with Brennan. Anyway, so I'm sort of like looking at that. But in the meantime, um, I've been doing a lot of flying and I wanted to show you um, what my room looks like because it's sort of like I don't really have time in between my trips to I like I literally come home, change out the food bag in my um, for my my lunch bag, whatever, it's a food bag, um, with more food uh, for travel, and then switch out my uniforms, do laundry, and go again. So I've been living solo. I feel like I'm, you know, you talk about bachelor pads. I do not have a bachelor pad. I have a bachelorette pad now because it's just me up here when um, generally I'm flying. But Brendan, or Ryan and Mike came, with, came up with me a couple weeks ago, which was really nice. But anyway, without further ado, let me show you what this looks like. All right, I got some things going on. I got my uniforms over here. Um, some of my uniforms ready to be ironed. Um, a water from the plane because you're supposed to drink one can of water for every hour of flight. Um, and so I, when I left yesterday, I left the plane and I had a can of water with me, brought that. This is because I had to hem, this is like hemming tape. So I had to hem my skirt, so I did that before I flew this time. These are my new boots I got for Christmas. I love wearing them with my outfit, with my uniform. Makes me feel sassy and fun and they're comfortable. These are my other Mary Jane shoes. Those are really comfortable. Um, but I haven't been wearing them as much lately. Look, they've got salt on them from the snow. We had a ton of snow. If you haven't seen my... Um, TikTok, you should take a look at TikTok and or Instagram. I put a video up there about how I just shovel my road so I could get out so I could get to work. So take a peek at that. This is another fun, interesting thing. This is kind of gross. You might be thinking, what is happening there? Well, I tell you, this is, oh shoot, I forgot to turn it on last night. Oh, it's on warm. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, oh no, it's on high. I did turn it on. This is a crock pot and it's got water and those are just bubbles, don't worry and um, cinnamon sticks in it. Why you ask do I have a crock pot in my bedroom with water and cinnamon sticks? Um, the My skin is very sensitive to the dry heat and we have obviously forced air, forced heat coming into the house when it's cold out and it's been really cold out. It's been like in the 20s. I think one day it was like 16. Anyway, so the forced air coming in really dries my skin out and my nasal passages and everything. I cannot stand the dry air. So I was talking to Mike and I'm like, yeah, I need to get a humidifier. And I've had humidifiers in the past in the house throughout with all, you know, the kids' rooms and stuff in the wintertime. But humidifiers are such a pain. You have to clean the filter and there's like, there's like particles that can get in that they're not good to breathe. And I just, and you have to fill it with water. I don't know. Humidifiers are just not my thing. So I was thinking, oh my gosh, all I need is to have water in the air. 
I was like, Mike, what if I just turn the crock pot on with water in it and steam will come up and I'll put some cinnamon sticks in it to smell good. And I did it the first night I was here for this long stretch of flying and it has worked so well. Like my nose isn't as dry anymore. My skin isn't as dry. It's been awesome. So I have that on. I turn it off when I leave, but I have that on. And all you have to do is pour more water in. There's no like thing. It's awesome. This is my non-flying coat. Oh, this is a little gift I got for Ryan. I'm not going to show it to you, but it's for Valentine's Day. I'm going to make some Valentine's Day boxes for the kiddos and for Michael. And that is a little Valentine's Day present I bought for Ryan. This over here. These are more uniforms that are ready to go. And these are some Christmas decorations that I need to put away. So there's some there, some there. I put some under here, under my bed. And then over here, I have some right here. Actually, that's Thanksgiving. But I need to put those in a storage area um, that is kind of hard to get to. So they've just been sort of waiting here until Mike gets here. Which will be soon, but today I will take you along with me. Pardon my yawn. I started a fitness routine. You know, it is um, the wall Pilates. <laughs> and if you guys are on social media all, at all, I'm sure you've been bombarded by wall Pilates um, ads. And so have I. And I finally gave in. And this is the thing though, I signed up, like I signed up for, like I filled out the information, like this is how much I weigh, this is how much I want to weigh, this is the kind of workout I want to do, this is like my health, blah, 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 all that stuff. I did that, and then, um, I'm to say this so you guys can see, but that work. Hey, that might work, let me see if you can see me a little bit other side. No, it's up too high probably. Anyway, so I filled out all the information and then like never signed up. So I kept getting all these emails. Hey, you know, complete your sign up, complete your sign up. And we're going to give you 30% off. We're going to give you 40% off. Finally, they offered 50% off. So for $11, I got wall Pilates for tw uh, 28 days. So I'm like, sure, I'll try it. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a workout. It's like 15 minutes a day and, um, and I can feel it in my in my bones and in my muscles. So I'm gonna do that today. And then, oh, so I have today off. Did I already tell you that? So I have a day off today, which is awesome. I'm so happy about that. Um, I was gonna fly home to Florida, but I would have only been able to be there for a few hours. And I went out to dinner with my friends last night. So where can I, I don't have any, you guys, I don't have any stands here. Wait, maybe I can use this. Wait a minute, what are these stands about? <gasps> Shoot. I filmed a video outside the other day, but yeah, my shoveling video, and I used to stand. I might have left it out here. Did I leave it out here? <laughs> I did, look. It's right there, that great thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I'm in my bare feet, and it's freezing cold out here in the snow. But I'm gonna get my stand so I can talk to you guys and tell you what's going on. Hold on a second, come with me. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> what's <laughs> I did my snow angel and then I must have been like, I'm out because it was cold. Okay. There you go. Got my stand. Let's go back in. Oh, my feet are cold. Super duper cold. Okay. Anywho, so now I'm going to bring this up. So today I am going to um, do my workout. And then since I have a day off, I planned a massage. So I'm going to go get a massage which I haven't had in a couple of months, but I definitely need because flying makes your bones and muscles hurt. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that. And then they sent me a text this morning. They're like, hey, we, that's at two o'clock. They're like, hey, we have a facial appointment available right before that if you'd like to. I'm like, yes, ma'am. So I'm gonna go get a facial at one. I'm gonna get a massage at two. I'm gonna do my workout before I go. And I have some editing to do for a video to get up for you guys. And then I'm gonna relax and do my laundry because I'm you know, switching over. I start flying again tomorrow. At least I'm on reserve tomorrow. So maybe I'll fly tomorrow, I'm not sure. And probably have some breakfast and a little bit of my decaf. So that's my day today. So stay tuned to find out um, and follow me with my day. Comment below how your day is going and um, if you have any comments on anything that I just shared. <laughs>
spent most of the morning after I talked to you guys trying to edit and I was having a little bit of trouble with my computer so I didn't get that done and then I got on the phone with Katie and I didn't get my workout done. <laughs> I did have my coffee. So right now I'm headed to my facial and my massage and then after that I'm going to finish my video. It's one of those days you guys, it's 45 degrees and look at the weather. It's like all the snow is melting. This is like the worst ugly kind of day there is. So it's a little unmotivating to work, but I am working. The first minute massage. I just finished my facial. What do you think? Now I'm just waiting on my massage. Oh, I feel so good. I'm so relaxed. Mm -hmm. I am feeling like a wet noodle and it feels so good. Say it is a um, it's a treat. Some people treat themselves to like nice purses and nice shoes and that kind of thing. For me, I like massages. So I did join Massage Envy. It's like a if you guys aren't in the United States, I don't know if they have them anywhere else, but it's like a massage um, franchise that you pay a monthly fee and you get a massage every month and it's significantly less than what a regular massage would cost. So I'm pretty happy with that. I can't remember if I told you that earlier, but um, I haven't really used all of my credits. So I had some and so I got the facial and I'm thinking that I'm gonna probably try to do a facial every month because my skin is not happy with um, first of all the dry air and it's also not happy with the flying like flying has definitely taken a toll on my skin and they say that it, it's very dehydrating when you're in the air like it on the plane and I can 100% feel that so I think I'm going to um, take better care of my skin in that way it just feels better and certainly looks better when it's hydrated and it has all the nutrients that it needs. So that's what I'm going to do. But for right now, I'm going to go to the bank and then I'm going to go get gas. And um, then I'm going to go home and put up my video, which I was struggling with earlier today. But oh shoot, I'm hoping to um, be able to take care of that. All right, see you guys. So I finished my workout and I did not film that. I decided to, this is something that I, that's like an aha for me. Sometimes the barrier to working out is not that I don't wanna work out. I'm gonna move this because you guys look at that light over there. Is that driving you, whoops. Oh my gosh, it was a little fuzzy on my face. Is that driving you nuts right there? Driving me nuts, we'll do that. I don't wanna give anybody shakes. So one of the challenges to working out for me is that I have to change from what I'm wearing into workout clothes and then work out and then shower and change back into another outfit. So I've gone from jammies to workout clothes to showering to other clothes. It's like this constant like change, change, change. So I was traveling um, yesterday, was it yesterday morning, I guess? And I was like, okay, well, I wanna do my workout and I'm doing this wall Pilates thing. So it's not like I'm running, um, but I will run, but I'm not doing that right now, especially when I'm traveling. Um, so I just do my workout in my jammies. Like, I don't care, it doesn't matter what I wear. I don't need to like put on leggings and sneakers and a workout top, like you work out in whatever, whatever you want. So I was just wearing this today just because this is a, just, super comfortable and it's my day off. I just have these little yoga pants on and this shirt. So I just did my workout in this. There you go, there you have it. <laughs> so I don't know if that's, is that weird? Is that like a revelation that people like had before me? I'm sure they have and I just, it's taking me this long to get it. But anyway, that's what I did and I'm gonna get ready and um, start to wind down for bed, which usually takes me about an hour and a half because I have to like clean things and put them away, just put some laundry in. But now I'm like working towards going to bed. So like this, for example, let me show you what I have here. This is my suitcase. These are my grocery bags. This is my backpack that I bring with me on my travels. Some of my uniforms, I need to take this and get it hemmed tomorrow. This is my apron that I wear when I take orders and deliver drinks on the plane because I don't wanna spill something on my uniform, that would be terrible. And some chargers, gloves, a book, like all this can be put away. But anyway, that's what I'm dealing with now, getting um, just little stuff. If Mike were here, he'd be, he'd be 
livid. <laughs> he does not like it when it's messy. And I leave little messes around and he comes by and cleans them up for me. He's very sweet. But I'm going to go ahead and clean these up because um, I shouldn't live this way. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. It was like as authentic as it gets. That This is me in my natural habitat. And um, oh, just so you know, I talked to Brennan, Katie, and Ryan today, and Mike. So I've talked to everybody today. Great days. Brennan has amazing, like he finished Rush tonight, and he's so proud of his work. He was a Rush chair, so he was responsible for all the new people, all the new pledges coming into his fraternity, and that ended tonight. And big news, if you guys know, we are Chargers fans, and sort of by proxy, because um, my boys are Chargers fans. So they signed, the Chargers signed Jim, Jim Harbaugh, right? Yeah, because John Harbaugh is the Ravens. So Jim Harbaugh, as a new coach, they are over the moon. Brennan and Ryan are so excited about that. And they got it. Ryan reminded me to get a fifth, fifth pick in the draft. And Katie's doing great. I had a long, I talked with her for an hour and a half this morning. She's doing great. And um, that's it. And Mike's doing great too. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we're going to try to keep getting some vlogs from the kids in like we did on the last one. And I'll get updates from them um, throughout the week and so you can see what's going on with them. And um, I'm going on reserve tomorrow, so hopefully I'll fly. So I start my three days of reserve. I go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which means that starting at uh, 4 in the morning tomorrow, they could call me at any time over the next 72 hours to go fly. So I will let you know what I get. And um, I'm number, I was number 9 on the reserve list earlier and then I moved to number eight. I don't know what I am now. So they very well might call me in the morning and have me fly and I will let you guys know. So comment down below what made you guys happy today and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.